how to integrate Notion with Outlook. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebOS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to integrate Notion with Outlook. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kind of go to notion.so or you can enter it on Google and kind of click the first link that come up in which the next thing that you need to do is to register or log in with your existing Notion account. And after that, you will be directed in here. And on the home page of Notion account, you will see some of the option on the left side panel, including the search option, the updates, settings and members, new page, which is below is a different kind of pages, such as reading list, task list, getting started, quick note, personal home, task list, journal, and many more. And aside from that, you can also navigate a create team space option, the templates option, the import option, and the trash option. And in those options, if you click the search option, you will be able to search any task on this notion. While upon clicking on updates, it will lead you to your inboxes, archive, and all messages that you receive. While on the other option, such as settings and members, it will show you some of the details including my account, my notifications and settings, my connections, language and region, while under the workspace, you will see the settings, members, upgrade, billing, security, and many more. Well, if you look on the other option, which is located on the left side panel of our Notion web page, you can also create your new page in which you can customize the title of it, in which you have the two options, such as to start with empty page or start with AI. And aside from that, below, you will see other options, such as to import templates, table, and many more, in which you can use these elements in order to create or design your own page. And aside from that, if you look on the top panel of it, you will see other options, such as the share button, to view comments, to view the past changes to this page, to pin this page in your sidebar, and other action or option that you can navigate. And if you are now ready to get started, you can proceed by clicking the page that says Getting Started, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which it will show you some of the basics, such as to click anywhere and just start typing, to highlight any text and use the menu that pops up to your style, your writing, and to click the New Page button at the bottom of your sidebar to add a new page. You can also click templates in your sidebar to get started with pre-built pages. Well, if you want to create a team space, kind of click the team space, which is located on the left side panel and select the templates option in order to create your own templates. And those templates, including the to-do list, project and task, meetings, docs, and wiki. Well, below, you will see the other design, such as design print, design system, design portfolio, and many more. Now, going back on the home page of Notion, we can also navigate the import option. On the left side panel, by clicking the import option, you will be able to easily import data from any of the following sources, including the Asana, Confluence, CVS, Word, and many more. And aside from that, when you go on the left side panel under the import option, you can also navigate some of the elements of this website. While on the trash option, from here you will see the trash or the deleted task that you can recover. And now that you know everything about the Notion and the feature or templates that it offers, we can now proceed by integrating Notion with Outlook. And to do that, kindly of go to Google and kindly of type Zapier in which this is the website that we're going to use in order to integrate Notion with Outlook. So kindly of click on the first link that come up and you will be directed in here. And from here, you will see the other details or description about this platform. And it says here that this platform can easily connect the apps you use for work that will help you to save your time and no code required. Well, if you scroll down below, you will see the other details about this platform in which it says here that you can create automated workflows that do more than just one thing, which is divided into two options, such as conditional logic and data formatting. While below this, you will see some of the feedback 
that come from the customers in using this platform. And it says here that 75% more efficient at onboarding new customers, while the other features that this offer is located below, in which you have the two options, such as to do it yourself or to hire an expert. And as you can see, these are the sample of website or platform that you can use to integrate using this platform Zapier. It also says here that over 5,000 plus apps, infinite possibilities that you can integrate, since Zapier supports more than apps than any of other platform. So you can connect the tools you use today and tomorrow. And aside from that, it also offers a plan that fit your needs, including free forever, which is can explore basic Zapier features for free. The other offers is professional, in which you can unlock powerful features with a professional plan, while the other plans is teams and companies. And now that we know about this platform, we can now start creating our own account. And to do that, all we need to do is to scroll up until we find the login or sign up button. And if you already have an account, just click the login button, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And as you can see, you can log in using your Google, Facebook, Microsoft, or using your email address. But in this video, I'm going to log in using my Google account. So kindly choose your account. And after that, you will be directed in here. And on the home page of Zapier, you will see on the left side panel, some of the option that you can choose in order to create or integrate an application, including the dashboard, Zaps, free plan, tables, interfaces, my apps, explore, and many more. And aside from that, if you want to experience the upgrade plan, then you click this button that says upgrade plan. Well, if you scroll down on the right side panel, you will see some of the feature that offers by this platform, in which you can have an early access program. You can also visit their learning center or hire an expert. But if you have a concern or issue about this platform, you can proceed by clicking as the community. And now let's proceed by integrating the Notion to Outlook. And to do that, kindly enter the Notion app on this search bar. While in the other search bar, kindly enter the Outlook application. And after that below, just fill out the question that says, when this happens, and the other question, then do this. So just enter or select your answer. And after that, just proceed by clicking try it. In which from here, the next thing that you need to do is to click the three dots. And after that, below, just choose an account or log in your existing Notion account. And select the continue button. While under the trigger section, just choose the database, such as task list, journal, recipes, and many more. And after that, just proceed by clicking the continue button. In which the next thing that we need to do is to log in our Outlook account. So just click the sign in button. And after that, you will now integrating your Notion to your Outlook account. So that's just how to integrate Notion with Outlook. Thank you.